Today on Tubby Time, we are venturing back out to the smoker and cooking up some delicious smoked pork belly. Let's get started. You know when the weather never cooperates with you? Ever? Like, we're from Connecticut and it's been like 70 degrees. It's mid-March, but it's been like 70 degrees the last three days. And the day I want to smoke some meats, it's 30. So it's gonna be another cold, smoky day. But I took this thing out to thaw, so we're gonna do it. So pork belly, there's all sorts of different things you can do with it. Today, we're just putting a rub on it and smoking it. If you've never had pork belly, it's like bacon, but better. So it's sure to be delicious. So this was a 9.24 pound belly, 299 a pound from Costco, 2763. Pay no attention to that date. Like I said, it's been frozen. All right, let's poke a hole and get this thing opened up. All right, very fatty, as you can see. I'm not really gonna do much to this. I don't know what's going on there, honestly. Let's take some of these fat chunks off. It just looks like bad butchering, like someone sliced that open. What's cool about this pork belly is that you have like, this this fat like feels so soft. It's fun to touch actually, as weird as that is. So I think what's gonna happen is when I put this on the smoker, this is gonna be the side facing the firebox. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna score this fat cap. I'm just gonna go right across. That looks good. So that's about a quarter inch down. Make sure you have a sharp knife doing this. I'm just gonna use a little bit of mustard as a binder, not much. Now I'm gonna start with some salt. You might be asking, oh, where's the pepper? Well, you'll see. What I have here is some rub that I made up with a recipe I found online. I'll put the link, but it's a sugar base uh, with some paprika and some other spices, including pepper. It smells, it smells sort of like tomato-y. It's very weird, but I've never um, screwed with a sugar rub before, so we'll see how this goes. And there's no salt on it either, so you can actually control the amount of salt you put down, which is why I put salt down separately. We're gonna do a liberal coating of that. All right, let's flip it over. I'm just gonna leave this. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll see what happens. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Salt. And while I'm down here, I'll just coat the sides. I still haven't gotten good at this yet, coating the sides of things. I just realized this cap for this rub is uh, too small. This is just one of those Costco, this was actually a coarse ground black pepper in it at one point. So I'm just gonna do this. All right, I'm just gonna pick it up now that it's done on all sides and just sort of mop up what's on the counter. That looks delicious. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for the smoker to get down to temp. We're gonna run it about 250, and it's been going for about an hour now, just warming up. And we'll go out to the smoker. So we're gonna cook this at about 250 for, who knows, a few hours, till we get up to 165. I also screwed up and seasoned it fat side down, so I had to flip it, and yeah, it's a mess. Whatever, we'll get there. Okay, it's been about two hours now. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, look at that. A little smoky because I just put a log on, but not bad. Fat's looking to render down. A little bit of pooling in the middle there. That is what it is. It's not even drying out either, so looks pretty good. I would spray if I saw some drying, but I really don't. One thing I will do is put this probe right in the middle. Try to get a reading in there. I'm gonna wrap at some point, I don't know when. So just get that, leave it there. And you can see here, my new uh, Thermoworks with this sweet wireless receiver, Christmas gift. So we're looking at 152 or 159, sorry, in the middle. We'll close this back up, take a look at the fire. That log's sort of burning. Yeah, so we'll just keep an eye on this. I'll check on it every hour. And uh, we're gonna cook till probably internal temp of 165, 170 where I'll wrap, and we're gonna keep the temperatures around 250, 275. It's been fine so far, so we'll just keep that going like that. 11. Can't do math. We're four, five, five and a half hours in, and we're ready to wrap. Internal temperature's 167, I wanted to wrap at 165, but I had to wait for my camera woman. 
and it's very smoky right now because I just put a new piece of wood on, so I'm just letting it do its thing. So let me remove this probe and get some tin foil. All right, it's very juicy up top there, but it should be, should be okay. It is extremely, oh my God, it's just like, oh, it's just like falling apart. I love it. Oh my God. Mm, so good. Not that it really needs it, but I'm gonna spray down here. We're doing a double layer of foil. All right, let's put this bad boy back on. Throw a probe back in, and we are good to go. So we're gonna cook this until it reaches an internal temperature of 200, 205 ish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an hour and a half and we're already at an internal temp of 200. We're actually at like 205 right now. So I don't know why it took so much less time in the foil. We'll see. I, hopefully everything's rendered down and nice. I mean, it's not all gonna be rendered down, but hopefully it's all right. So, take this out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off the smoker. I'm gonna put it on our table over here. Oh God! Oh, that's a, that's a lot of a lot of juice. Whew. What we'll do is we'll open it up. Oh, that's a lot of juice! Holy shit! Look at that! So there's the bottom. This. this is going to be difficult. All right. So, <laughs> so that's what we got. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back on the smoker. So let me take this. You know what? No, I, don't, I don't trust myself. I feel like it's going to break apart. Let's go over here. So I'm gonna oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no, no, that's not going to work. Oh, um, all right. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on like this. I don't care. <laughs> because all we need to do is coat it in... Oh, that sucks. Whatever. All we need to do is coat it in barbecue sauce. We'll take our barbecue sauce. I've been warming, sort of. And all we're gonna do is just let this set. So we'll spread it out like so. That fat, it's just like, it, it's so buttery. It looks delicious. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. So what we'll do is we'll let that set for about 15 minutes or so. Maintain our temp of 275. Let it rest for 30 minutes-ish, because I have to shower, I feel gross. And then we'll do a taste test. So it's been resting for 15 minutes. I'm changed, I'm showered, I feel great. We're about to do this taste test. And I can already tell this fat and all this stuff, oh my God, it's so buttery and delicious. Looks so good. Where do you want me to cut? Where do you think I should cut? Over there. Over here? Mm -hmm. This one? Okay, well, I want to try to, I'm going to cut right here. Oh, God, it's like six through. Should have used a cutting board. But look at that. That's so nice. I just look at that. Wow. Nice crisp on the bottom. Fat's nice and fluffy. I don't want a big fat. Oh, <laughs> Mm. I want fat. No, you have to try some fat. fat. Try some fat. No, seriously, try some fat. It's gooey. It's the best part. It's 
slimy. You're slimy. I mean, that's rendered down actually very nicely. So, what do you think of it? I like the meat. I mean, it's a little tough on this end just because, uh, just because this is the thinner end. But uh, it's just dripping. It looks so good. I could eat this all day. Mm. Well, okay. No. I have fat all over my face. Because I'm fat. Anyway, I forgot to mention earlier, I did use Stubbs Sweet Heat barbecue sauce for this. You can use whatever you want. I actually don't really taste it that much. Do you taste it? Mm -mm. I I probably even could have gone a little bit um, more liberal with the seasoning, too. Probably. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, it's by any means, it's not bad at all. You know? It tastes really good. I want to get, like, well we'll, well, we'll eat that later. But, all in all, pretty good recipe. What do you think? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. So, Another successful smoke. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Tubby Time. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy.